everyone and welcome to my vlog channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Grace Riddle. I'm 19 years old and I just got married in August. I'm primarily making this vlog channel to try and document memories for us to look back on. Um, my husband is 20, um, so we're in a very unique stage of life right now. We're young, we're newlyweds, and I just know that these will be valuable to look back on someday. It's the other reason I am sharing this with all of you instead of just keeping it to myself is that I kind of want to share our experiences since I know it's pretty unique to get married at 19 and 20. So I'm hoping to shed some light on both the joys and then also the realities of being married so young. Some things you should know about Jamie and I are that we currently live in a rental home in Dewey Beach, Delaware. Um, that's in southern Delaware and we're like a walk from the beach so it's been great however it's now cold so we're not really getting advantage of that like we were when we first moved in in August we are both part of very big families I have seven siblings and Jamie actually has six siblings so and we're both the second oldest so that's one thing we've bonded over since the beginning of our relationship today we have a bit of a busy day off together Wednesdays are kind of like our Saturdays because we do work most weekends so today we're gonna do a cleanup of the house um, we're actually putting up our Christmas tree today too which I'm super excited about because it's our first Christmas in our own home together with our own tree, which is something I have dreamt of seriously since the beginning of us dating. <laughs> so I'm really excited to put that up with him. And then I actually have rehearsal later today because I sing um, and the theater that I grew up performing in has asked that I um, sing at the tree lighting for our local town. So that's on Friday and we're gonna rehearse all the songs today. I am currently enrolled in school. Um, I'm just going to my community college. It's Delaware Tech. But that way, with the program that Delaware has, I get it for free. So I think it's a win-win. And the last thing we're going to do today is actually go visit some of Jamie's family because this is the first time that all of his siblings are back home since our wedding. Yeah, so it should be a really fun day. I'm really excited to kind of get in the holiday groove, and I can't wait to bring you guys along. By the way, um not to flex about the whole married thing but this is my favorite mug i have this one and then i have another one that says something about marriage but it's just fun it makes me feel like an adult which i guess i am but sometimes i don't feel like one so <laughs> come home to a really messy bed so it might look like a lot of pillows but it makes me happy so we'll take it okay so the house is officially clean here's the bedroom which I kind of already showed because I pretty much just had to make the bed um, but we vacuumed, and we mopped, and there's my husband, drinking water, <laughs> um, and the table looks much better than it has in a very long time, because this kind of becomes our office space. And then, here's kind of what we've put up so far for Christmas decorations. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that garland or not, because it's literally like Dollar Tree garland that I've had since like junior year of high school, so we'll see, but it's there for now. All right, and some of you might be confused why we're not doing a channel together, because we had one probably around this time last year, but it's just logistically easier for us to kind of do it separately right now with our, good golly, um, <laughs> with our kind of clashing um, schedules, so. He's hopefully going to be, this is Jamie, I don't think I said his name, but Jamie no, Riddle. No, I was just husband. <laughs> yeah, just husband, just 20 year old husband, no, Jamie Riddle, he has a name. Um, he's probably going to do his own channel, but we'll see. We're just kind of feeling it out right now. I almost forgot the part that I've probably been looking forward to most with putting up this tree, and it is our record. We actually have two Christmas records, and I got this record player for Jamie on his 18th birthday. Right? 18th? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, while I was in school. So, we didn't use it much while he was at home and I was at my own house, but now that we have our house, we use it a ton. So, we're going to put some Frank Sinatra Christmas on, which unfortunately you won't be able to listen to, but you know what it sounds like. Oh, Christmas tree. 
All right, so our tree is fake. Normally we'd get a real tree, like at least our families do, but it's just us and we actually got this for free. So we're not gonna go through the hassle of buying one when we can just use this. Um, and so we're gonna put this cute little, like, I don't know, it reminds me of cranberries, but this little tinsel that is actually inspired by Jamie's house because they have this and I love it. It's so pretty on the tree. But truthfully, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of uh, sparse. There's not like a lot of coverage, so we might need to get another tinsel to kind of fill in the gaps, but we'll start with this. Oh, Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. We're almost done, but we're going to need another thing of the garland underestimated the size of our tree. So we'll get another one of those later today because we'll actually be in Rehoboth anyway. But now we're gonna put my ornaments up. We don't have Jamie's yet because they're stored away. So we're gonna have to wait till we get those and then we'll put up the angel. about our wedding or something related like engagement wise so we went to Williamsburg on the weekend of November 5th for like a little extended getaway so we have this one from Williamsburg which I don't know if it's gonna focus but um, one sec. there we go but yeah that one's just kind of a picture of Colonial Williamsburg okay so the camera died but <laughs> before it died what I was saying is we got these in Williamsburg so this is the other one we got um, it's we actually got it when we were engaged last year because he proposed December 6th of 2020 but um, I think one of my sisters broke this and I couldn't find the little diamond anymore so I wanted to get a new one and then the only other one we got was to celebrate our first Christmas together so we got this one see it just says first Christmas together and I really liked it because I thought it looked kind of like I don't know vintage or something so, yeah. right, and last but certainly not least we have our angel to go on the top so we're gonna put our very first one up it's cold and dream. Oh, Christmas tree oh, Christmas tree Such all right well we still need to get some things the tree skirt for one we don't have one the rest of the tinsel, but at least it's up and we have plenty of time before Christmas to sort the rest of that out. So I am happy and I think we're gonna go get some lunch at Chick-fil-A. Oh, are we now? I think we should. <laughs> Sounds um, good. Before my rehearsal and we might try and stop at Marshall's now, but if not, we'll do it later and maybe look for a tree skirt and just some like generic ornaments to fill in some gaps, but yeah. All right, we got the goods. It's been a while since we've had Chick-fil-A. I honestly can't remember the last time. Yeah, me neither. I just wanted a stress-free lunch because I have a rehearsal in a little under half an hour. And sometimes, I don't know, we were just going hard. We cleaned, we did all the Christmas trees. So I didn't want to cook and then clean the dishes all over again for not as good food, quite frankly. Um, and the other thing that stinks with our house right now, and we're going to be moving, so I'll explain that in a different vlog, but... We don't have a dishwasher, so I know that kind of sounds like a first world problem, especially because it's just two people, but it adds up fast. Yeah, so I hate being like a person that uses paper plates, but we have been using some paper plates and it still doesn't alleviate the problem. So we're very excited to move and get a dishwasher. Yes. <laughs> but until then, we're just gonna eat our Chick-fil-A and then head over to theater to rehearse. significantly later in the day now. What time is it? It's 3.13. I did go and rehearse at Clear Space and that's kind of where I ended things. Um, 
and we were going to go to the gym, but I just started getting a really bad headache, which seems to be a pattern lately, so I don't know what to do about that, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I am going to get dressed in something less athletic, so I will kind of show you what I'm planning to wear, and who knows, I might even put some makeup on. Just try and feel good, you know, wake up at 3.13 in the afternoon. So, yeah, let's see what I want to wear today. I normally try to kind of dress up on my days off, which seems almost counterproductive, I feel like. But when I work, I work two jobs. So I nanny for two adorable kids. Um, one is three and one is under a year old. So obviously they're playing and all over the place. So I don't, <laughs> I don't wear nice clothes. Then. I just wear something like this where I can kind of move along with them. Um, and then my other job is actually at Jamie's father's practice, my father-in-law, I guess I can say now, um, but I'm wearing scrubs because it's a chiropractic office, so I don't really get to dress up on those days, so my day's off. I love fashion, so that's when I try and spruce things up a little bit. So I am a hardcore fan of mom jeans. I do not like wearing skinny jeans anymore now that, <laughs> like, mom jeans are so trendy so these are probably my favorite pair I don't know that you can really see them but they kind of look like almost industrial work pants at least I think not that I've ever done like any industrial work my entire life but so I think I'm gonna wear those because they're super comfy and cute and then I've got to pick some type of sweater out because it is cold today I'm trying not to dress up too much because tomorrow is Thanksgiving so obviously I'm gonna like go all out for that but Something casual and cute for today. We're probably just gonna go with this one. It's just from American Eagle. I probably got it two years ago, but it's like so comfy and baggy. <laughs> and I don't feel like wearing tight clothes today, so we're gonna go with this. Alright, so I'm changed. Here it is. And I actually can't see, but I went with different jeans <laughs> that are a little more. Still mom jeans, still not doing the skinny jean thing today, but. They're not as flared, because I think I want to wear those jeans tomorrow since they are my favorite. So I'm just wearing Levi's jeans instead, and I'm going to get some jewelry on, and get my makeup on, just real minimal, and then we're kind of going to go about our day. I'm probably going to stop vlogging after that, just because um, we're going to go see Jamie's family and all his siblings who are back in town so obviously that's kind of private and I don't care to exploit that on here but um yeah I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this so far and I'm not exactly sure what my posting schedule is going to be my hope is to at least be once a week um and maybe once I get the groove of it all and with editing and kind of figuring out what kind of content I really want to be filming throughout the week Hopefully I can make my uploads a little more frequent, but we're probably going to start with once a week and go from there. Alright, say hello to our tiny little bathroom. I'm going to get my makeup out. Maybe in the future I will do like a date night get ready with me or something where I go through my makeup. I honestly don't wear a lot. I don't like wearing makeup and I don't invest a lot of money in my makeup because of that, but I do have sensitive skin, so the makeup I do have is, I would say, higher quality. Like, I, I can't just get drugstore makeup. But the one thing I always use, because I hate foundation, is it's the, I think it's called Bye Bye, there we go, um, yeah, by It's Cosmetics, and it's a CC cream. But I like this one because, like I said, I have sensitive skin, and it does have SPF, and it's just light coverage, so I don't feel like I'm trying to, like, hide anything underneath my makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on I also always used oh goodness I always used a BB blender before because that was just the thing that everyone did but recently I bought the brush and it's made a world of a difference so I don't know maybe makeup brushes are back who knows all right so next thing I use is just this um, Glossier blush it's the cloud paint and what color is it it's haze so i always wear blush because otherwise i feel like i look a little lifeless but the nice thing about this is i can just put it on with my fingers so really other than the foundation i don't need to use any tools i just use my hands which we love that some highlighter also glossier i like it 
Alright, and then I finish up with brow gel, once again, Glossier, and mascara, once again, Glossier, and you guessed it, lip gloss, and I don't think I need to say the brand again, because, as you can see, it's the same. So, yeah, let's finish up. Okay, so I am done. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. So thanks again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you.